Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we had a question on one of our previous videos. We were showing you the great Divi Supreme modules. One of the modules is a Supreme Image and it lets you do different things with an image. For instance, we've got an image here. When you click on it, it's going to pop up a video. And this is a local hosted video. It also gives you the option to do that with YouTube and Vimeo videos, etc. But uh, somebody was having a problem popping up a local video like I just did there. So I'm going to show you two methods, one using the Supreme Image and just use it, one using just a regular image module right here. As you can see, we can pop on this one. It'll pop up the video too. The only difference with those is the first one will autoplay and this one is muted by default. So whatever works for you. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is grab a video. So I'm going to go over to pexels.com, great free video site, and let's just grab, let's grab this video. What I'm going to do, I don't need a huge high def version of it, so I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to choose maybe a just regular high D version of it right there. Because videos do actually put a bit of strain on your web hosting server. So the smaller you can keep them, the better. So I'm going to choose the regular high D. And if you want to know how to compress videos, have a look at one of our previous videos on video compression. OK, as you can see, that's downloaded it to my browser here. I'm using Google Chrome. Yours will just download to your default location, whatever that is. So let's go to our WordPress site and enable my visual builder. Okay, once enabled, let's go down. I'll just add a supreme image. I'm just gonna hit the little button right here. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules. When you add Divi Supreme modules plugin, the pro version, you get another 50 or so of these blue ones here. And there's some extremely good modules in here. There really are. So I'm looking for a supreme image. There it is right there. And you put in the image that you want to pop up from, or the image that you want to use for this. And if we go down below, hit the link button, you'll see a little switch here that says Users Video Pop-Up. Now in the last video, we used a YouTube video, and if you want to use a YouTube video as a pop-up, you simply put the link in there. But we want to use a local hosted one or self hosted one here that we've just downloaded. So let's go to my media library. I've got my media library open over here. Anybody doesn't know how to get to the media library, go down dashboard and media right there. Simply drag the video you've downloaded up here and drop it. It'll upload. There it is. If you click on it now, it'll take you to this page. And we've got a URL here. We can simply click on this URL, copy it, or hit the copy URL to clipboard button there. Go back to our page and put the URL in there like that. There we go. Now we'll just save this. As you can see, there's our image right there. If we save our changes and exit the Visual Builder, roll on down there's that image when I click on it it auto plays that video for us just what we wanted so when I click off it it'll stop so there's one easy method I think that solves the problem that this chat was having about uh, using local hosted videos rather than YouTube or Vimeo or what have you another method Divi Supreme, we've got an image already here, and you, Divi Supreme has got an extension that allows you to pop up anything from just about anything. If I go back to my dashboard, let's get rid of this. We go down to Divi Supreme. Here's the extensions, and there's some fantastic ones. There really are. Make sure you've got enable Divi pop up switch to on so it's purple like that. Save your changes. Then what we can do, if 
I go back in here, I'll use one of the existing images. I'll create a video module and we'll pop it up from the existing image. So we'll enable the Visual Builder again. Once enabled, I'm going to go down and create a new module. It doesn't matter where I create it because I'm going to delete it. I'm going to put it in my library. I'm going to hit the little switch there. I'm going to use a regular DV video module for this this time. There it is right there. We'll insert the video in here, video MP4 or YouTube URL. Let's get rid of the one that's in here. We'll add a video. If you want to use a, a URL from uh, YouTube or Vimeo or anywhere else, you can insert it right there. We're going to use the actual local video itself that I just uploaded, this one right here. So I'm going to click on it and hit the upload video button. And there it is, fantastic. Now, if you want to add a different version of WebM, you can do so down the bottom there. I'm just going to leave mine just exactly like that. So we've got our little video right here. Now what I'm going to do is save it to my library. And to do that, we use the little icon right here, just to the left of the trash can. Give it a name, usually something that's going to make sense to you. Vid pop, a video pop up, and save it to the library. Now this extension will let you pop up just about anything for anything. It will work with any module you want to create and save to your library or even a row or a section. So we can now trash this now it's in our library. We're going to use this existing image to pop up this particular local hosted video. So let's go into the image. Now remember we've switched this enable Divi pop up to on. If you haven't done this, this will not work. So make sure you do that. Because when we go into this image with that switch switched on now, we go over to the advanced tab down to vis visibility. You've got a little switch there that says use as pop up. It's off by default. Switch it to on. You want to use a layout because we saved the layout to our library, the video there. Now we can select that from our library. But before we can select it, because we just created it and saved it to our library, let's just save this. We need to save the page changes and refresh the page for that new video to show up so now it's saved Let's just refresh the page once refreshed we can go back down there now if we go back into this module to the advanced and down to our library we set it to on our new video should show up in our library now should be right at the bottom and uh, it's called vid pop I believe there we go there we go and with this method you can choose what to trigger on module clicks absolutely fine you can do it on button page load a hyperlink scroll exit intent exit intent is when people go up to exit your site module is going to work fine for this because the image is a module right there you can close it outside the pop-up or just with a close button on it itself. You can auto close it if you want it to close after a certain period of time. Just flip that to on and put your time period in. There's various fade in and fade out animations. Plenty to choose from there. Pop up position is going to pop up to the center of your screen, which is what you want really. We'll leave it as absolute so it stays where it is. Don't want to use it at full width. If you hit that full width switch, it's going to cover up the header and the footer and just show you the content that you're put, putting up. Max width, I tend to leave it on that 680. It seems to work for most things, but if you want to, you can make different widths for different devices, desktop, tablet, and phone. But like I say, that seems to work pretty well for me in most situations. Show overlay, for anybody that doesn't know what an overlay is, if you've ever seen a light box where an image pops up, it darkens out the background so you're focusing on whatever's popped up. And you can choose your color here. It's going to show a close button unless you switch that off. It's going to be inside unless you want to put it outside. And down below, you can choose your font and style it any way you wish down here. So we should be good to go with that. Let's just save this. We'll save our page changes. and exit the Visual Builder. 
well, let's roll on down. Well, we looked at that one. Here's the one we'll use an existing image for. As you can see, it's got a hand icon indicating that something's going to happen if you click on it. So let's click on it. And there's our video pop up, little play button right there. And there we have it. And you've got the usual controls for volume and everything like that there. Full screen if you want to watch it full screen. Escape to get out. Click anywhere out of it, it's going to go away and there's also a close button right there it's dark on dark so you didn't see that and of course there's the first one that we used with the initial Divi Supreme modules which is great because it auto plays it as soon as you click on it and again click on the X or anywhere outside it'll close there's two ways of popping up a local hosted video from an image using Divi Supreme modules so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.